Good evening. At the top, shelter resources across the valley are stretched thin as immigrants keep coming. That Channel 5's Kristen Colon tells us shelter directors are searching for any help they can get. Kristen? So far, almost a half a million people have crossed the southern border this year. The numbers here in the Rio Grande Valley are also increasing. That's presenting problems for more than just law enforcement. Volunteer groups taking care of migrants say they too are overwhelmed by the number of immigrants they're trying to serve. It's ascendente dramatico. It's ascending and dramatic. We were not ready for this. Not in resources, nor in voluntary help. We only had a small group. Iglesia Bautista has only been accepting immigrants for 30 days. Navarro did not imagine he would be assisting over 1,000. Justo hoy alcanzamos. Today we received our immigrant number 1,000. They aren't just Central American. We have gotten people from India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Venezuela. A few miles away in Harlingen, a similar story. It's just busy. You know, we're putting in a lot of overtime and uh, um, asking a lot out of staff, quite frank. Yeah. Pastor Bill Reagan, director of Loaves and Fishes, say the number of immigrants being housed have nearly doubled. Reagan says they have shifted their staff. They tried their best to look after the local homeless population. On top of that, most nights we have 30, 35 homeless people as well. So then it's around 100, 100, 120 maybe per night. Medical staff was added at each shelter in order to assist the immigrants. Navarro says the worst medical situation he has seen was an immigrant suffering from pneumonia. Reagan says in his case, a lot of immigrants have come in with respiratory issues, such as cold and flu. Reagan says they never know how many immigrants they will eventually serve daily. Navarro and Reagan say any assistance in clothing or food is always welcome. In the studio, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.